just like that, y'all, and that's a fact, y'all. What'd I tell you? We're back again on Green Slime's broke ass show. Still broke as fuck. But I got another guest tonight, a legend in Chicago. Everybody make some noise for Brittany Black Rose Capri. Hey, Brittany Black Rose, Brittany Black Rose, Brittany Black Rose. Oh, oh, okay. Brittany Black Rose, Brittany Black Rose, Black Rose, Black Rose, Black Rose. My own echo. What up? This is a broke ass show, so I gotta close this door. Oh, I'm sorry. I've been polite. Leaving doors open. You good. You cool. What's up? I got like my blunt too. You do have to light your blunt. Rituals. I'm sorry. That wasn't supposed to come up. Sure. I was watching porn. White people porn? I don't watch white people porn. <coughs> <coughs> it's way too weird. We talked about this before, but... She was white. Huh? She was white. My girl was not white. Nigga. <coughs> you can't put... <coughs> can't be lying to the people. This is oh, okay. Big Booty Ebony. You read it. I can't read this. I'm not reading that shit. Read that. I'm not reading that. <laughs> you got me fucked up. It says Big Booty Ebony something, 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 something. I like big butts. And I cannot lie. You lie all the fucking time. I do. I do lie. I be lying in court like a motherfucker. <laughs> what's uh, what's your favorite book of all time? Um. Yeah. What's your favorite food? Tom, you got one on this. Oh, uh, burritos all the way. That's a good answer. I like a biryani I had one tonight. It filled me up. It's tasty. Oh, man, it fills you up. All of the rice and the, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's lentil rice, the chicken's tandoora. What more can you ask? Fuck the rhymes, man. Get with the program. Uh, what's up, Queen? How you feel? I'm good. How you feeling? Pretty good. Hey, check this out. What's up? Who, who would you think, who would win in a fight? An angry pony? Or a baby Joey. An angry pony or a baby Joey? Yeah. What's a baby Joey? It's a baby kangaroo. Oh, uh, oh, uh, I, I knew that. <laughs> the night we met. Yeah, we're out at some bar or whatever, some club. I come outside the club, it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. There's this crazy ass nigga standing on top of one of the damn city, uh, city of Chicago boxes, like all the way up, wilding, dancing, tripping, just ah, screaming. And I was like, damn, that nigga crazy. Uh, glad we don't have to see him again. So we pull up to a party five blocks away. I walk inside and this nigga's in the house. And I'm like, what the fuck? Who did, why did y'all bring me to a party with this type of dude? And they're like, oh, don't worry about him. He's on probation. And I was like, nigga, what? Oh, he cool, he cool. I was like, nigga, what? Y'all got me all the way fucked up. Uh, but then we had boom boxes on our arms, so we became best fucking friends. Boom. Boom. There you go. The pizza man just called me. Oh, shit, there's pizza. <laughs> About to get this pizza, y'all. Pro black, pro queer, pro ho. Pro black, pro queer, pro ho. Do I say it in the right order? Yep. Explain that, cause I seen some motherfuckers on online trying to jack your shit. I seen some fake ass bootleg shirts. That's when you know you on. <laughs> shit was bootleg as hell too. I'm like, damn. Uh, I'm not gonna say all that <laughs> in case this show uh, comes across. Person. I hope you sued them motherfuckers. Get I did not sue them. So pro black, pro queer, pro ho is a tattoo I have on my right arm, uh, and it is my. It's like the cornerstone of my politics, but really it's just the core of like my entire being, my artistic career, the way I live my life. Like if you're not supporting all three of these things at the same time, then I don't got time for niggas. And so people seem to really fuck with it. So I put it on a shirt, um, and my dad helped me copyright, or my dad had me trade, helped me trademark it. Um, you like one of the aunties or something? You like an auntie in Chicago or something at this point? You know, <laughs> little auntie. 
You should start a rap group, Lil Aunties or some shit. Uh, you feel me? I actually, <laughs> surprisingly, and your um, homies too. My your trio. Homies too. No, 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 anybody. No, no, no. We are. We y'all like the we are we are a trio, and we actually call ourselves your favorite aunties, and we actually have a trap gospel group um, called Damn Mary. Wait. Damn, Mary dropped that ass. So, the aunties, you know, wait, we're best wait, friends. Hold on. <laughs> right, we gotta run that back. <laughs> Put some explosions and shit. Okay, so wait. everybody that knows me gospel. knows who my trio is. So it's a trap gospel group. Trap gospel group. Yes. And our name is Damn, Mary dropped that ass. Mary? I'm, uh, you know, one of the niggas is Damn. Y'all gotta have a juke I'm song. I'm Mary, and then one of the niggas is Drop That Ass. You gotta make a juke song. Like, oh no, we, we're in. It's, we're in the in process. We're creating a mixtape of Travis Gospel drop tracks that ass, drop that for ass, Jesus. Drop that ass, drop that for ass. Jesus. I always, I always <laughs> thought you that. You uh, for Jesus. For Jesus. <laughs> Trap I, Gospel. I always thought that a, a strip club church would be like the best business idea ever. Like ratchet motherfuckers that's not gonna come pay no tithes. It's coming to pay some tithes up in that motherfucker. You feel me? You might catch Slime Gooley up in there. Throwing a throwing ten, twelve dollars for the Lord and, and for ass. some for some ass. Another one in Chicago, little aunties up in here. You feel me? You see what it is? <laughs> little aunties. Little folks, Demers. Little folks. You feel nah, me? Nah, Big Daddy. All right, where you from? Where y'all from, by the way? I'm from the low end. I got it tatted on me. I'm from Uptown. I have it tatted on me. <laughs> Are we different versions of each other right oh, now, real? bitch? <laughs> I got it tatted on me. I got it tatted on me. We was talking about strippers and parties and books. She came over like, fuck your idol, nigga. <laughs> That's what ass he is doing. Like to just if she's a clean girl, mm -hmm. lay her. Yeah. And suck. Mm -hmm. Squeeze her softly like Pillsbury Doughboy. Okay. Um, I'm a little rough. You love. You like to put the claws on her butt. I like to. I had a nigga come on my leg before from humping it. I was driving. Remember how before we way. filmed, we were talking about the things that we wouldn't tell people that we were just like. I, f I figured that might have been one of the things that you just. It wasn't me that guy. <laughs> We can cut it out if you want, you know what I'm saying? It don't matter. Oh, okay, it's because of her? We got edited. I don't know that. Tyrone. Tyrone got the same birthday as me. I went to Kimmel with that nigga. That nigga dry humped me at his mama house. And he came on my leg. And he got a Ugh. unibrow. Anybody from Kimmel would know that nigga. Ugh. <laughs> you remember. You remember. This bitch over here yelling at the camera. You Who remember. Tyrone. Nigga. That's that nigga name. He's from 63rd. First and last. Damn. <laughs> don't care. That's disgusting. Wow, it's like <laughs> she really said this nigga's name. First and last. First and last. Nigga <laughs> neighborhood, <laughs> school. You a nasty school. nigga. A bro. very distinctive feature. I don't care. You got one life to live. Confess your sins, Tyrone. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Mo's gonna be happy. I'm not attracted to Bob. That's what they I need some auntie advice. I need some love advice from y'all, cause y'all, we like the same age, but like I said, y'all like Chicago's little aunties, you feel me? <laughs> and I look to y'all like I would an older, you know what I'm saying, <coughs> figure in my life to show me the right path on certain issues. And I just want y'all love advice, you know what I'm saying, just generally speaking, towards me and all the young brothers out there watching. Mm -hmm. Love advice for all the young people. Love advice. Yeah. Uh, you want to start? Keep it 100. <laughs> Stop tweaking. Niggas tweak every day, B. Like, every day. Niggas tweak every day. Like, you ain't even got to tweak. We literally, we like, we, 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 we set up everything. We got the foundation for you. And niggas tweak their way out of everything. Because niggas are natural tweaks. That's it. Also, eat booty. Love advice. Eat the ass. Eat the ass. Cause if you don't, somebody else will. Go ahead, bro. I want to. Y'all be having niggas pissing on your toilet seats. That's what y'all saying. I have niggas pissing they drives. So I feel like this is like 
a time where I need to officially say, um, what are those like little disclaimers? You're not gonna say I do not, not agree. Again, is <laughs> I do not it agree. Ain't on or cosign his name is everything. Be- oh, shit. He went to the Southern Bell House, not our time nail school. Can you piss me your drawers? Couldn't fuck with it. It was it was disgusting. I'm sorry. Lucy ain't pee on you. At least he ain't peeing on me. At me. No, not anybody peeing on me. At me. <laughs> I can't even. I'm sorry. I know you got a daughter. This sorry. is my. Whoa. Beep. 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 Is Randy running up on niggas again with towels? Yes, Randy got wet towels, smothering niggas with crusty towels. He don't give a fuck. What? Oh, okay. All y'all little creepy niggas, watch out. You feel me? <laughs> don't fuck with little aunties. Little Randy gonna run up on you. I might what be towel? medium auntie. Medium yeah. auntie? Yeah, I'm, I'm not, medium auntie. I'm not, I'm not Rachel little. big auntie, I'm medium auntie. She little auntie. That should be our group, the three aunties. Nah, we damn married. Drop that ass. <laughs> daughter to be like me. I sucked dick this morning and didn't brush my teeth. And yes, my hat, necklace, septum ring all say bitch. And I used to burn myself and lie about it. And sometimes I forget how many men have forgotten my name, but not what I look like bent over. And I curse like a sailor, fucked a veteran, fucked a barkeep, fucked my mom and had me. And I got tattoos in places you didn't even know you had to shield her eyes from. And I touch women in places you warn your daughter to not let boys near. And I pierce some of those places too. And sometimes I stand naked in my kitchen and hope I'm disrupting a faux happy home. And I sleep with men in relationships, but not married ones. It's too much drama. And I feed off drama like my uncle in a bottle. And I do drugs, drug drugs, not pot. And I smoke that too. And I graduated from university with a 4-0 in my major. And I bought my own car and I teach kids their stories matter, and I talk about my depression so kids can learn from their mistakes, and I run a clothing drive for the shelter four times a year, and I publish my book at 24, and I'm a nationally awarded writer, and I cry at baby videos online, and I cook for my roommates when I'm sad, when they're sad, and I can't wait to get an English bulldog and name him Space Jam, and I respect my elders. See, I called you ma'am when I could have called you bitch. It's like that, y'all, and that's a fact, y'all. It's like that, y'all.